What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to show you on how to make this blue joggers rip shirt with the blue duffel bag that you see in the thumbnail. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the outfit. To make this blue joggers outfit, you obviously need the blue joggers and the only way to get it is if you do the Beth glitch or if you have a modded account and also if Rockstar does bring this back, you can do the director mode glitch. So as of right now, there's only two ways on how to get it, either if you have a modded account or if you can do the Beth glitch. But if you guys already have the blue joggers, then you guys should be good to go. If you don't, then I will leave a link in the description that you guys can watch on how to do the Beth glitch to get the blue joggers. And yeah, then you should be good. But now to make this outfit, after you are at a clothing store, you're gonna walk up to the front counter. I'm gonna take off the body armor real quick so I can show you guys the top. You're gonna go over here to your tops, scroll down until you find polo shirts on slot 49, and you're gonna equip the blue polo shirt on slot 46. After you do equip this blue polo shirt, you can then just back out of polo shirts, scroll down to the bottom until you find a utility vest on slot 58, or maybe on a different slot for you, but click on utility vest, and you're gonna look for the peach plate carrier, which should be on slot 43 or slot 44. After you've equipped the peach plate carrier back out of the tops, we don't need to worry about the pants since we already are wearing the blue joggers. But walk over here to your accessories, click on gloves, and you're gonna look for the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you've equipped the white cotton gloves back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, click on skate shoes on slot three and look for the two-tone skate shoes, which will be all the way at the bottom on slot 17. And after you equip these skate shoes, back out of the shoe section. And if your character has any head accessories, just go ahead and take that off and I'll show you on how to get these head accessories later. Now, when your outfit looks exactly like mine, you can go up to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot. After you do save your outfit, you're then just gonna go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll through your clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 12 or on slot 13, and then scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do that, back out of the front counter, and now we're gonna head over here to the pier for the telescope glitch. After you are on the pier and you're near a telescope, do the telescope glitch. So run by the telescope like this, press right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know your glitch. Pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and you're gonna equip the outfit you just saved, which should look like this. Put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over with your outfit, and what we're gonna do is just head to a gun store. Once you have made it to a gun store, head over here to the top section, hit to edit saved outfits, and save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. But after you have saved your outfit, you can then just back out of the tops, and now we're gonna start up a job. To do this, hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on Rockstar Created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a job, and fully start up that mission. And as soon as you load into the job, you should see that you're not wearing the utility vest anymore, but you still have the toxic mask. Now go back over here to the tops, and once again, save the outfit on any slot that you want, or the slot you saved it on before. After you've saved your outfit, back up to the tops, and you can just pull up your phone to quit the job. Okay guys, after you are back in a public or an invite only session, you're gonna run back inside the gun store, go over here to the tops, you're then just gonna go down to vest, on slot 52 and you can equip any vest that looks like this but don't equip a sweater vest or else it won't work so after you do equip any normal vest that looks like this you can then just back out of vest go to vest shirts on slot 53 and equip the white band vest shirt on slot 8 this is the one that's important after you've equipped the white band vest shirt you can then now back out of your tops and we're just going to do the merge glitch so i will leave a link in the description for it's a g thing you can do that for the merge glitch but for me i'm going to do the heist apartment merge so i'll get back to you when i am at my apartment after you guys make it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and then walk up here to the heist planning board. You can choose any of the five heists you guys want, it doesn't matter, but for me, I'm doing the first one, which is called Flake a Job. And after you guys select the Flake a Job, if you're just copying me, complete the first job, which is called Scope Out, then go to the second job, which is called Kuruma, and launch that mission. When you're in the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, and then you're gonna confirm your settings and invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And when someone does join, just launch the job. Now that you're here on your owned outfits, scroll to the slot to, where, to wherever you did save the outfit, which should look like this, and you can hit ready to play. All you guys need to do now is after you have loaded into the job is just pull up your phone and you can quit the job from your phone. As soon as you are back in a public or an invite only session, you're going to find a car. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. Go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu. You can register as a boss, so register as the CEO or a motorcycle club. After you do that, pull up your interaction menu up again. 
click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, click on Management, click on Style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, then one time to the right back to none, hop out of the car, and you should see that the black, the white band vest shirt merges with the blue polo shirt, just like this with the rest of your outfit. Now what we're gonna do is go over here to the mask store so we can get the mask for our outfit. After you do make it to the mask store, what you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, go to your inventory, go to body armor, go to show armor, and you're gonna set it to the standard armor, which is this black vest right here. After you've equipped the standard armor, you can then just put away your interaction menu, go over here to the mask, the hats, or the tops, hit edit saved outfit, and save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. As soon as you have saved your outfit, and assuming you guys have the blue bulletproof helmet to match the blue joggers, you're going to go ahead and equip that outfit right now, so then you can see that you have the blue bulletproof helmet. Now we're going to head over here to the pier, so then we can do the telescope glitch to merge the bulletproof helmet over to my outfit, or the blue joggers outfit. When you are at the pier and you find a telescope, do the telescope glitch, run by the telescope, press right on the d-pad, your character will run in place, then you look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and you're going to equip the outfit we just saved at the mask store, which will look like this, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, you should see that the blue bulletproof helmet merges over with your outfit, now we're going to go back to the mask store, so then we can change the mask on our outfit. And when you have made it back to the mask store, walk over here to your mask, go to crime on slot eight or on slot nine, and you're gonna look for the white t-shirt mask, which will be right here on slot 55. And as soon as you have equipped the white t-shirt mask, you should see that it merged together with the blue bulletproof helmet. Now you can hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want or the slot you saved it on before. But when you have saved your outfit, now we're gonna go ahead and get the blue duffel bag. So to get the blue duffel bag, you can head over here to your arcade so i will get back to you when i have made it to my arcade so when you guys have made it to your arcade you're going to go over here to the setup board and for the select approach you're going to have it set to the big con which is the middle jab right here once you have set your select approach to big con you can then move over here to your prep board and then you're going to obviously select your support crew then go over here to your approach specific preps and then you're going to go ahead and select the noose gear so what you're going to do is go ahead and launch that mission as soon as you launch that mission, it's going to tell you to go to the location of wherever you need to go to collect the duffel bags. When you're getting the duffel bags, what you need to do is go ahead and deliver the first duffel bag that you get. But when you have your second duffel bag, the vehicle I'd recommend you to use is either the Oppressor Mark II or you can use a helicopter as of right now just because it gives you a parachute. But later you're going to be using your Oppressor. So after you do have one of those two, the Oppressor or your helicopter for right now, you're then just going to go ahead and fly high in the sky just like this and then you're going to jump off your oppressor or jump out of your helicopter pull your parachute and try to guide yourself towards the arcade into the yellow circle just like this and then you're going to kind of fly into the wall your character's going to fall and then you automatically get into this animation as soon as you do get into the animation it's going to say that it has completed now what we're going to do is just head over here to a gun store when you are at a gun store what you're going to do is walk up here to the front counter you're then just going to go up to parachute this is just in case nobody has a parachute or if you don't have a parachute go to parachute go to parachute bags and then buy any parachute bag that you'd like it doesn't really matter which one after you've got a parachute back out of the front counter pull up your interaction menu go to style go to your parachute, set it to on, and then you should see that you have the parachute that you wanted. Now the vehicle I'd recommend you to have for this is probably the Oppressor Mark II, because if you use a helicopter, it will probably take off your head accessories. But after you have your Oppressor, you're then just gonna go over here towards the beach. And as soon as you have made it to the beach and you are on your Oppressor, fly high in the sky just like this, and then you're just gonna jump off. After you jump off your Oppressor, you're gonna pull your parachute, and you're gonna to try to fall. I mean, it'd probably be best if you landed next to your oppressor because we're gonna be using it anyway. But as soon as you land, you should see that your character, whenever it's taking off the parachute, that the duffel bag automatically is equipped on your outfit, just like this. So here's what it looks like in the pause menu, just in case you guys are wondering. And yeah, so can't really see it, but now just get back on your oppressor. Once you're back on your oppressor, we're gonna do the mass door save glitch. So aim yourself towards the mass door. And when you think you're high enough, you're gonna jump off your oppressor like this. Pull your parachute whenever you think you're ready and try to guide yourself towards the mass door just like this. Now to slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper at the exact same time. You're going to have your character either hit the mask, the tops, or those hats and then start spamming right on the d-pad like this. Once you are inside the clothing, hit edit saved outfits and save your outfit on any slot that you want. And after you have saved your outfit, 
back out of the clothing section, a parachute will fall off your character, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, and equip the outfit we just saved, and yeah, that will be all for your outfit. So I hope you guys do like this blue joggers duffel bag outfit that I did show you on how to make. Hope you guys like it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.